three main candidates to join him round the kitchen table for breakfast. Is that, yeah. all, is that all? He senses the possibility of a historic victory and has been here often. His opposite number, Mr. Brown, has yet to make a single appearance. It is a vital by-election for both men. It may explain why it's been such a nasty affair, with Labour descending into periodic bouts of toff bashing. To spread a little sweetness and light, we gathered together the main candidates this morning for breakfast. But boy, was it hard going. Presumably, you'd like to take this opportunity to apologise for the campaign you've been running. Not at all. Uh, this is the sort of politics you want to get we, elected we, for? We have had a campaign which has concentrated on local issues. It's concentrated no, it's concentrated on him being a toff, putting him in a top hat, which he presumably doesn't have, wearing a bow tie, which as far as I can see he isn't wearing. Well, I bet he's got a bow tie in his drawer, but either way, what it's done is highlight very visually the difference between the opposition and myself as so candidates. So what, what, what is it about his privilege? There's a 53 million pound fo family fortune behind him. There's so is it the money? What is it you don't like about him? No, it's, it's, it's his ability to relate to ordinary people in crew and Nantwich. And you are making a lot of promises now about tax yeah. cuts. You want to reduce taxes on petrol, you want to reduce income tax, but you're still committed to improve funding for the armed force. How on earth do that. you square that circle? I mean, well, you, you will know, because I'm sure you've asked this many, many times of George Osborne and David Cameron about how this is going to take place. Now, what we've said very clearly is that as the economy grows, then the state will also grow, but at a slower rate. And so we will have some room for manoeuvre in that situation to try and bring about some tax relief for people who need it most, but also to continue the important spending on public services. What it is a question of is who the voters of Crewe and Natwich want on Friday. But do they want a strong voice in Parliament or do they want a parrot for David Cameron? We do recognise that this is now a race between us and the Conservatives. The Labour vote has fallen away. Um, Are you sure about that though? This is, a, you know, this, is an, this is an old Labour town. What makes you so certain the vote is really falling away? Because, because the Tempe tax has been the final straw for but people. They've sorted that, that out, haven't they? They haven't sorted it out. It was a bribe. There was too many people that are affected by this. I was talking to someone the other day who's now doing a paper round to win an extra £16 a week to try and balance you know, his, his budget at home. And so it went on, but tomorrow the talking will be over and the people of Crewe and Nantwich will get to set the political weather. Tom Bradby, News at 10 in Crewe. So voting takes place in Crewe and Nantwich tomorrow. There are 10 candidates standing in the by-election. Here is the full list of them.